Welcome back everybody to another Discord bot tutorial for games. I am your host, the Retro Yuki, and today I'm gonna give you guys a head start on how to play the Suma bot. We're gonna be going over some configuration commands and how to get started with the gameplay. So first off, make sure you guys invite the bot. The link will be in the description below. And let's go over what to get started with in this bot. This bot is a game bot that allows you to guess characters and claim them for your own if you know the name of the character. I will go over that in just a moment. Let's first start with how to get started with the, with the commands. If you want to learn how to see the commands, just type in t.help. The t dot is our prefix. And it's going to show you all the commands that you guys need. For this game. Today we'll be going over the server commands and the basic command. So the big one you need to understand is t.redirect and t.redirect allows us to get started. So t.redirect and remember the channel matters because this is where all the spawns will go for this game. Because I already put t dot the redirect here, we are okay, and we are ready to go. Now, let's talk about how to change the prefix. Change the prefix. All you have to do is t dot set prefix prefix and change the prefix to whatever you like. I would recommend, however, not to change it unless there's another bot. In your server that has the same prefix as to suma so that is more of a more of a um, command for just in case t dot invite allows you to invite to the main server of suma t dot server is talking about this server check permissions allows you to check to see if if your permissions are correct for the bot to make sure that it's correctly correctly giving you guys the messages that you need so check permissions so far all the all the messages i need is good so we are good with permissions and finally t.server info is server information now let's get into the, the actual good stuff the gameplay so make sure you have a channel where your your Zuma or characters are going to spawn. Here's how this works. There's a few ways to claim characters. The first main way is going to be called T that daily gotcha. T that daily gotcha allows you to grab a character for free without going to the, through the guessing game, and you get one every 24 hours. Keep in mind the cooldown is 24 hours. So make sure you guys understand that. Next is going to be t.daily. t.daily allows you to get foils, as you guys can see here. These are more like your currency items. Okay? This will be important later when we start talking about the shop down the line. Then we have t.inventory. It allows you to grab to see your inventory of items, including foil, shard, and d-shards. We'll talk about each item later on when we talk about inventory, material, and shopping later on in this tutorial series. Okay. T.cooldowns allows you to check out the cooldowns for the game. Like, for example, the daily daily gacha will be here. So as you can see, daily is off beat the table because I already used it. Daily gacha is off the table because I already used that. The wonder trade is ready because I have not used that. I will talk about that later on. Voting is ready for the bot, and the global timer is eleven hours and eleven and one minute now. You might be wondering how does this global timer work when it comes to spawning a, a, a character or what they call a Zuma. How it works is 
it's based on how many members in the server there are. Because this is more of my test server for tutorials, I'm the only one here. But let's go to my main server, which is now called the Anime Zone, if you will. And you're going to notice that I have way more members than one. And we already have players playing the game, so. So let's just say, for example, now let's talk about the actual game itself. How it actually runs. So every so often, there's going to be a character spawning like these. Okay. So let's stop here. So in order to claim a character, you need to use t.claim. And you have to guess the name of the character shown on your on your screen. Now keep in mind this particular character has already been rolled. Nobody claimed them. However, let's say that he was claimable at this point. The correct answer should be future trunks from Dragon Ball. So all you have to do is t.claim, and then you would say you would actually type in the name of the character. It's like you would you would guess on the Wheel of Fortune, if you will. Now let's just say you do not know the letters. You can use t.hint. t.hint will allow you to give letters, to see letters of the character. Just like in Wheel of Fortune, when you put when you say, I want to buy a vowel or you want to put some consonants. So here, so here you t.hint in the, in that case. Okay, the next command we want to go over is t.donate. Now t.donate is a very special case. It's for the SumoBot Sumo bot itself. So t.donate allows you to see donation options for premium features. For example, promotional rarities like a premium lounge, like a arm animated tags, all this are going to require some type of donation and you can get the premium link here I would wait until your server admin approves of the idea before you use this command t.votebot allows you to go to their website and vote for the bot like in the vote for the vote for the bot that's how it works you can get foils and shards just by voting on their website. T.toggle confirms is a command that allows you to make sure to confirm a particular command. For example, if it's like a like a moderation command, are you sure you want to do this? That's a confirm. That's how you work on that one. Same thing with dt.vote alerts. You can see who gets notified for the time to vote on the bot. Remember, I believe you get 24 hours to vote each day. Okay, so keep that in mind when you're talking about voting. Okay, now those usually don't work toward the game. It's just more of a thank you for thank you for voting for the but hopefully you enjoy kind of thing okay now let's say you want a particular command to see what they actually do all you have to do is t.help and then space command name let's just say for example toggle confirms called toggle confirms uh, let's see oh I, I spelled it wrong t.help Toggle confirms. There it is. Toggle confirm. Toggle com toggle confirms all commands when on running different gadget commands. Who we'll asks you if you want to make sure you buy them? So this is more like a definition, okay? So if you need some help with a particular command, t dot help then space then commanding. That's it for the configuration and basic commands of how to play. If you will, our next tutorial, we're going to be going over gotcha, the gotcha commands, which include merge, gotcha, store, purchase, use, buy booster quest, collect quest, and this discard quest. Make sure you guys stay tuned for that. 
And if you guys enjoyed these tutorials, subscribe to the channel and like the video. But for now, we'll see you guys on the next Sumobot tutorial for you guys soon. Yeah.